When Santander came to us, they were looking for uh, innovation, something that uh, definitely would differentiate that space. It is special rewarding for a company such as Wide Dreams to work for a bank such as Santander. We both value ideas and turning them into reality. El centro de visitas lo podemos definir como la verdadera puerta de entrada al banco. Nuestra principal intención a la hora de construir el faro era, era por un lado dotarnos de un centro de visitas del que carecía la ciudad y al mismo tiempo permitir a los visitantes y usuarios que en 30 segundos cruzan por lo que son las instalaciones un primer contacto y un primer contacto profundo con lo que es la cultura del Banco Santander. La cultura del Banco Santander es la cultura de un banco tradicional que realiza banca global y que al mismo tiempo quiere estar presente en el siglo XXI siendo un referente de innovación y tecnología a nivel mundial. This center had to reflect the bank's position as one of the biggest in the world. That was the challenge. In Wide Dreams, creativity is never constrained by technological limitations. This project for Santander required combining a range of several different technologies like rich graphics with embodied interaction, or tangible interfaces with augmented reality, or even biological-inspired robotic behaviors. It was the perfect playground for our multi-purpose proprietary platform. What if we could create something that could really function with humans and be useful? And so the outcome was this robotic system that communicates with you in your own language, figures out where you want to go and actually takes you there. SIGA stands for Santander Interactive Guest Assistance. When the visitors arrive, they find this touchscreen console where they can choose a language and their destination. It can be a meeting room nearby, uh, the auditorium, or the exit to the bus station. It's Santander's very own family of robotic butlers that welcome me help me to explore that building and amuse me. When they're not guiding people to where they need to go, the robots roam around playing music and discuss with each other in their own synthetic language. And when they run low on power, they automatically head over to the charging dock, making the whole system self-sustainable. We needed to be able to control the position and the orientation of the robots with a precision of centimeters. It was not possible to spread sensors or other marks as it is usually done in laboratories. SIGA is a multi-agent ecosystem where each robot is an autonomous agent reasoning in their own world model. This approach is biologically inspired in colonies of simple animals like ants where the complex behavior of the colony emerges from the interactions between each individual. Uh, the whole system was prototyped using a virtual simulation powered by a real-time physics engine. Later, the robot hardware and the user console were plugged into this simulation system. So, in the end, what we have are real, artificially intelligent bots playing an online 3D physics game. This very useful development approach, along with the magic, allowed the whole system to migrate seamlessly from the virtual prototype to the real-life robotic world. This is probably the first application that uses swarm robotics in a commercial context. We normally see robots in factories or in research labs, but in this case we've developed a set of robots that function in a crowded space, 24-7, 365 days a year. The main feature we wanted this wall to have, and because it's a very wide space, was the ability to function on different stages, depending on the user's distance to the wall itself. Well, the purpose isn't to drill Santander's history into the minds of visitors. It is instead to offer them an interactive experience that is fun, memorable and informative, so they can walk away with a better grasp of what Santander is all about. The application is aware of what's around and can react and adapt itself to the different conditions. So, we have a first stage that communicates on an immediate level and expresses the client's global image. When a visitor gets closer, they enter a second stage where they are invited to approach the wall. And then the final stage for actual content exploration through touch. The interactive wall is a good example of that all-inclusive power of our software framework. That was the key to deliver a multimodal interactive application. In this case, cameras tracking the user's position through computer vision, together with touchscreen input. All this serving rich graphics that combine 3D along with 2D and video contents. The goal here was to take a really big model of Santander's financial city and build an augmented reality setup around it. Augmented reality let us impose digital elements upon what we naturally see. The main idea is that these four screens look like they're transparent. 
And so to do this, we used state-of-the-art lasers and a huge database of photographs of the model. To put this in perspective, we had some 600 gigabytes of images that we needed to access randomly, all in real time. And we added a digital layer of information, so users could explore all the expats that we don't see or understand. All the facilities we can find, architectural details, Santander's concerns about art all over the city, and so on. You can actually feel this whole new layer. And the interaction is completely intuitive. I mean, even a child can do this. The advantage for the user beyond the functional meaning is the unique experience they will remember from the interaction. These new trends concerning digital architecture will become a common feature in public spaces in the future. It adds a new level to the way people relate to the physical space surrounding them. And we thought this environment in the financial city could use some of that. We had about 35 people working in this project uh, from a multitude of fields. Graphical and industrial design, electronics, mechanics, uh, software development, uh, sound design, uh, 3D modeling, uh, among others. Um, and it's always challenging to cross all these different backgrounds and the perspectives uh, to achieve a common goal. The Santander Financial City project illustrates the power of ideas to a real and magical interactive experience. Nosotros realizamos un concurso internacional de proveedores en el que resultó elegido Way Dreams porque por un lado se trataba de una empresa de un prestigio reconocido a nivel mundial y por otro lado nos dimos cuenta que era una empresa joven e innovadora que iba a saber traducir nuestros intereses. We are proud of this project and we think Santander will be proud as well. This is really a dream project. Estos deseos del banco, que nos iba a saber dar lo que nosotros buscábamos realmente, algo que no existiera en ningún lugar del mundo.